talking about this today. Subscribe right now to the Enumas with Apostle John and Prophetess Josephine Enuma. And do not forget to like, comment and share. Welcome back to the Enumas. My name is Josephine Enuma. And on this platform, we share about family, marriage, money and ministry. And this season, as most of you that are following me on I Am Fruitful, would have seen that I'm covering in this season family protection. And I thought to myself, what a better way to share with yourself some of the exciting things that will help you as a family to safeguard your children. And I'm speaking to us today about using these devices and for your children using these devices. Most of you now know, in the UK especially, I don't know about anywhere else in the world, they are currently sending homework for children on these devices. Amen. So today we're talking to you about how to safeguard your children on these devices. Don't go anywhere as this is exciting. Amen. But today I'm going to be sharing about how to activate safeguard for your children using Android. Yes, that's right. Android. I don't use iPhone. I might do, but my husband uses iPhone. So I might do how to safeguard using iPhone, the next one. <laughs> so grab your tablet. If your child is using Android tablet and you currently don't have a safeguarding, you know, safeguarding, safeguarding link or, you know, um, protection for your child on using this device. Internet is not a safe place for kids. And in as much as we're trying to get all technological and, you know, the sending homework zone for kids on these devices is very primitive that you protect your child from the dangers of the, in the world wide web, the web, the internet, the social media, whatever platform. And the best way to do so, as I have found, is using Family Link on Google. So what is Family Link on Google? I'm going to be sharing with you how I safeguard my kids using Family Link on Google. There will be a pop-up on the screen where you can follow and, you know, be able to do exactly what I do to protect my child online or my children online. Amen to that. So grab your device if you don't currently have that safeguard. And those of you that you already could have to you. I'm so proud of you. Well done for doing that. The app, as you know, is um something you can download on Play Store, Google Play Store. And it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to download. It took me like two minutes to download it off Google Play Store. And it's called Family Link. The first thing that I did, which I later found out I didn't need to, was that if your child is under the age of 30, you can just open an account for them on Family Link. But I found that out a bit later. I opened an email addresses for my kid, obviously using child Google emails, yeah? So I opened an email account with their name on Google. And then with that, I was able to activate child safety on Google Family Link. Family Link gives you the opportunity as parents, both parents or those responsible to guard the children, to be able to protect what they watch online, whom or what they search online, and how much time they actually spend on these devices. As you've come to know, many children spend hours and hours and hours on their devices. I'm sure if I could do a statistic on how much time a child spends online, it will blow your mind away. I'll find that out and I'll put it up on the description or on the side of this video for you to see for yourself how much of their day is being taken up by these devices. And I'm surprised that unis and schools and primary schools is at the tender age of reception years are setting homework on these devices, which takes more of their time. So by the time they get off doing homework, then they want to watch TV, then they want to play a game. So most of their day is actually spent in front of these devices. And now schools have TVs in school. My child will come home and say, we were watching this in school today. And I'm like, wow, how much time they actually spend in front of a screen. I pray that their eyes are protected in Jesus' name. Amen to that. So let's get back to Family Link, Google Family Link and how it works. This is what I want to share with you today. How does it work? How can I safeguard my child? How can I stop my child from watching the wrong things online? Yes, on YouTube, on Google, going onto the wrong website. This thing actually protects me and my children from just searching for anything. And one thing that is very important as well is you can, you can safeguard which YouTube they watch, meaning that they can either download the, the main YouTube platform or they can use YouTube Kids. My six-year-old currently have YouTube Kids on her tablet, but my older child, which is nine-year-old, has the normal YouTube simply because I believe he needed to use it more for what he does with his homework. But the best thing with this family link is that you can, you can you know, safeguard what is such on that YouTube channel. So, and it's also age restricted. So if he's searching for something that is beyond these years, it's gonna question, why are you searching for that? And that it will need authorization from myself. I feel like I'm talking too much. So I'm just gonna show you how you can do this. And I'm gonna you do this by using screen record on my phone so you know what to do and how to get there. But firstly, let me share with you what is Family Link and how does it benefit you? 
Okay, let me get there quickly so we can move on to the next thing. So, to get started on Family Link app, you need to download it and create an email address for your child. Like I said, if your child is under the age of 13, you don't need to create an email account. You can create an account specifically for their device on your Family Link app. So, once you download it, you can use the Family Link app to add supervision to your child's existing Google app. That's if you've created a Google account like I have done. And then the Family Link will be will not be available in all countries, as I said, but it's available in the UK and you can use it. I know it's most likely available in America as well. You can use it on iPhones, iPads, computers, and other Chromebook, but you need to be able to supervise what they are doing on. And Google Workspace for Education accounts can't be managed by Family Link. So if it's something that is managed by their school, you might need authorization from their school and what how is protected but for family link is more based on what they search online and how to utilize it it's free of charge you don't have to pay for it but um obviously if your child is downloading something they shouldn't do and you know you don't proofread what they're downloading then you could end up paying for it paying for what they've downloaded so to set up on um thinking you can set up daily screen time on google on the device open the family link select your child and at the bottom center, tap controls. On that daily limit, tap set up and select the hours and minutes you would like to set for your child. I will show you how to do this on the side of the screen so you can follow exactly what I do. And you can change your child's limit time as well, meaning that if they've been online for too long, my children are set two hours a day, their limit. So two hours a day is what they allow on their devices. So if they decide to use their tablet, they only allow two hours a day. If they log into their email on another computer, it will still work the same way because it's saying you're only allowed two hours screen time. And we also set it smart TVs to their email account. So if they were to use the smart TV to go on their email account, it will also restrict the amount of time they spend on that device. So either way, they've got a maximum of two hours. But if they're good and, you know, they're doing something or maybe we're at an event and it's taking longer than normal, I might extend the time. And I will show you how to do that as well. You can set the hours and minutes you would like to set for the limit. And you can also turn the limit off so they can have unlimited time. And then you tap done and it's done. So what will happen is it will reflect on their device. So the moment you extend the time, it will show up on their de device. And if their time is up, it will tell them your time is up. Meaning that they spend the two hours that they allow for the day already. And it will say, time's up. Literally, it will shut down the device. You tell them, bye-bye for today. You know that device again today. But remember, whatever email account you set up for your child has to be the email account on the device. If not, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that the two match. And also, you can also um, extend the time. If you give them extra one hour, two hours, three hours, it will automatically go up on the device. If it doesn't work, sometimes it doesn't reflect on the device and you'll have to ask for parental access. I will also show you how to gain the parental access, but obviously you can't compete. So once that happens, you can enter the code into your child's device and immediately the device will start to work. And if they are on downtime, I said downtime from 7 p.m., meaning that once it's 7 p.m., even if they don't use the hours they've been allocated for the day, the time will shut down once it's 7 o'clock in the night, meaning that there is no more screen time for you. Time to go to bed. Shut down. The only negative I would say about this is the constant, Mommy, can I have more time, please? Mommy, my screen is on downtime. Mommy, I need more time. Mommy, my homework is not finished yet. Can I have more time, please? Mommy, is it possible to have more time today? Those type of questions I get all the time. But I'm happy to get those questions. You know why? Because then I know they are sick. Again, another question I get. Mommy, can I download the game? Mommy, oh God, I don't like this game. Can I get another one? So you get those type of questions. Because why? Whatever they're downloading on their device will automatically come as a notification on your Play Store. And once it comes as a notification, it will tell you which child or which of your child is trying to download the game and what game they're trying to download. Then it asks you if you want to approve or deny that game. The best thing to do is to go into the game and research what is the game about and do I want my child to play this game. So once you go into it and you research it and it shows you the type of game they're trying to obviously download. If you don't want your child to download that game, deny it. But if you think it's safe and you check the age restrictions and there is nothing purchasable on that game, then you click approve. And once you approve it, it will automatically install on the device. And also, if they ask him to download the game, it will ask them to ask a parent on the device or simply say to them, do you want to ask in person or ask through device? If they ask through device, you will get the notification on your Play Store. 
However, if they want to ask in person, they can bring the device to yourself and you check whilst they're on, on the device and then approve it or not. So I hope that makes sense to you all. But all this, I'm going to be showing you as I'm talking about it. So you'll be seeing it on the screen of how to do it and how to utilize it for your child. I hope that is helpful to you today. With your child's device, on your child's device, you open settings on Android version 8.1. Later, tap digital well-being and parental controls and other Android versions. Tap Google parental controls to view the current settings tab daily limit which my children also activate themselves to say how much time they've used and how much time is left to them and then as you've seen as i'm going to show you on the screen as well you get a notification or your child will get a notification once the time is running i will tell them you have 15 minutes left and then before the time is up so if they have notification of 15 minutes left they can come to me and say mommy can i get more time please and then that gives me the opportunity to say yes you may have more time or no that is it for the day so i hope this is helpful to you the daily limits apply to each android device that your child uses for example if you set the daily limit at two hours your child would get two hours of time on each device but what we tend to do is make sure that whatever device they're using it is logged into the same email account so it's permissive to that email account so two hours is two hours there's no extra time because again you're protecting your child's job eyesight <laughs> too much screen time is not good for their eyes so you need to limit the amount of hours they spend on the screen time don't exchange quality outdoor activity or quality time with your child with putting them in front of it i hope this is helpful to you this is something that is very 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 useful in our household and it gives opportunity for myself to approve or my husband to approve we both have the family link on our devices so should any of our child request or searching for something they shouldn't be searching for it automatically prompts us and we can check if they're doing the right thing or not and so i hope it's useful to you i just wanted to share that with you and encourage you to safeguard your child online and if you want more of this type of videos put it down in the comments below i want to hear from you and i want to share this moment with you like <laughs> trying to get into my video as always so i want to share this moment with you and please make sure that you comment down below if you like this type of videos i'm very happy to share with you what we do in our household to protect our children online amen god bless you all and i know that your child is safe from the woes of this world in the name of jesus as for me and my little beautiful girl we wish you a very very wonderful day see you soon bye bye if you have to pick your game that you want then after you pick your game you have to check what age it is if it's not your age you have to look for a different game that's your age just like i want for for something I would like this, but I'm not allowed to have it. Twelve, and I'm only five. Um, actually, now I want to download a game that I just found. And it's got set two more years of players. So what's the game to? So I am going to download. At so I'm going to download this, and it's for three. And I'm wait. Just a So um, I'm going to get this one. Then press install. Then you press ask as a message. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Then you press OK. Then you have to wait for your parents to allow you. Then your game is approved. Mm -hmm. Press it again. It doesn't say ask as message. Because you've already downloaded it. So it it's just so loaded. <laughs> That's why I choose the game that I actually want. Just keep waiting. It actually feels kind of bad. Mm -hmm. You feel me? This is what it looks like at the end. And then you tap it. Then you just wait for it to load. Then your game will come on like this. Then just load it now. Thank you, Chichi. Are you getting Everybody just wait. My mum's just setting it up. <laughs> Mummy, I actually put in this one on. Now I didn't want to hear my face. My face on. My, my face on. Why does your tummy make that noise and then my tummy just... No! Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> and welcome back to The Animals! Different content this time. I want to do something different, something unique. We're in the season of parenthood and i'm talking to you about what it's like for family protection hold on let me move my camera backwards a little bit my head is being chopped off i want you to grasp everything i have to say is that better let's i see that my head is cut off a bit do you hear me okay see me or it's difficult okay this is the cool i wish we did so where do i go again show me wait are you Don't recording me. me are you recording me so thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you do so right this very minute and watch out for upcoming next videos thank you and god bless bye